So it came to my attention. After doing a couple of quick searches on Google, a lot of people want to know how you can actually lock individual apps on our iPhones. Well, there actually is a way you could do this, as well as hide some of these apps on your home page, like these pages right here. Now, this isn't an integrated feature on our phones, to be honest, but there is a clever walk around that allows us to have this ability, this capability to do such things. So, so long as your device is on the latest firmware update, right now, this is iOS 15, there's a nifty creative way you could do this. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that and some. So let's go ahead and get started. So I did feature this on a previous video, the lock shortcut video. You could go ahead and watch that right there or watch it afterwards. But in that video, I just show a brief summary how to set it up. There's more things you can able to unlock and add new features. So what we gotta do is quickly just go ahead and launch the shortcut application. You could always just type it in shortcut if you're having a hard time finding it using the spotlight search. Go into automations, tap the plus icon on the top. Let's click on create personal automation. And what you want to go ahead and do is scroll down until you see apps or app I should say on the bottom section right here where it says is open is closed make sure is open is enabled and then on the apps list click choose select the apps you want to use this on so we got these two and then tap done on the top corner and now once we do that go into the next section and where it says add action let's go ahead and add one on the search bar just type in timer and you're gonna go ahead and click on start timer right here and now once you do that in the 30 icon just enter one this way one minute and then on the minute section click on it and select second now just tap next and from here go make sure to disabled ask before running turn this off you don't want to give permission to automatically run you want this to run it automatically so turn it off and also turn off the when notify i'll show you why in a little bit tap done and now what we have to do next is launch the clock app on our main device. From here, you're gonna go ahead and go on the very bottom right here and tap on timer. And where it says when timer ends, select this and make sure you select stop playing and just tap set and now you're good. Now if we actually go ahead and launch that app that we locked, that was selected, it's gonna lock it automatically like so. And you're gonna have to unlock it one more time with face ID or the passcode. And then it will actually give you access to the app. So that's the creative way to lock it. Now, if your device is showing a notification, you might have to do an additional step. And that is just quickly launch the setting application. Go into the top section right here where it says screen time and see all activity. Scroll all the way down to notification. You're gonna look for the shortcut app. Now by default, it's not gonna let you go into it have there's a trick to get into it just tap the back arrow and forward arrow and right here you'll be able to actually allow and disable all notifications so it will no longer send a notification to your screen if it does telling you that the shortcut is the reason why that app constantly locks itself but if you another way you could disable it again you could just launch it on the shortcut app in the automation section here is where you can actually enable or disable the app. So if you want to turn this off entirely, just turn it off like so, or you can actually swipe to delete. But if you actually go in here, notify when running, this is where you can actually go ahead and turn off that notification if you want to do it that way too. So try those two methods if you're still receiving notifications on your homepage. And if it still continues, just reset, force close all the apps and reset the phone and it should work perfectly fine. Now to hide some of these apps, it's extremely easy and straightforward. You just simply just long hold on them and you have the capability to remove this app. When you hit remove, you can either delete the app entirely from the device or remove from the home page. When you tap remove from the home page, the app is only going to be located on the app library right here. You can simply just type it in and it'll show up like so. You can do the exact same thing with Spotlight Search by typing in that app and it'll pop up like so. And you can also click and drag it back if you want to have it back on the home page just like this. Now another cool thing you could do is when you go into wiggle mode, down here where you see these dots, you can actually click on it, uncheck the app page you want to not be shown, press done, and now you'll see that that app page is gone. And to reveal it, just repeat the process and then you'll see that it's back to normal. But now let's say you want to use a different pin cone to unlock the app, not the one that you use for your phone. There's another great alternative and you can find it right here. 
So thanks to the community, you can actually go on to shortcutgallery.com, excellent site for a bunch of different community uh, shortcuts that people have posted. You can actually download this one in particular, which is locks. You get shortcut, follow the unscreen instruction, literally takes a couple of seconds, your OS will verify, make sure it's not a sp uh, like filled with malware or anything like that, add the shortcut. And once you do that, on this page, all shortcuts tap the three dots on the very top corner where it says ask for number. Here where it says provide input number is this. This is the, the default one. You can change it to a different one, change the passcode to something else. One, two, three, four, five, just for us. Tap done and then select the app that you want us to open. So when it says open by default to the app store, click on here, click on the app you wanted to open. So let's go ahead and check mark Amazon. And then if you go down, you see the notification section. Right now, by default, it just says don't. You can change the message to something else like gotcha or I knew you will do this type of thing. Now, before we actually run the app or run the shortcut, you also have to click on it right here for the first time. Just give it permission to have access to your camera to be able to store and save that image on your camera roll because that's the next feature about this shortcut. So once you give it permission for all that, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it works and why you need to allow it to have access to your photo camera library. So whenever you run this for a fine example, let's go ahead and remove Amazon from the homepage. And now when you ask Siri, lock, lock. Shortcut says password. One, two, three, four, five. And boom, it, it will just automatically launch that hidden app that we removed from our homepage. So that's another creative way to lock apps. And if you say lock to Siri one more time, but this time you say the incorrect password, enter the incorrect password, it will actually take a picture with the front facing camera and will save that photo in your recent photo library. So those are the creative methods to add a bit of security onto your device. Cool unique ways, cool abilities to lock individual apps. Now unfortunately this is not integrated on the OS yet, maybe in the near future, but this is a nice walk around how to actually give yourself this capability. So if you got some good useful information out of this video, you know what to do. Greatly appreciate if you guys leave this video a like, it still helps me out a lot. It lets me know that you actually enjoy learning more creative ways to do certain things on your device. If this is your cup of tea, make sure to hit that subscribe button as I basically cover a lot of hidden features, some tips and tricks, and cover a lot of latest tech products. So if you're into that type of stuff, highly suggest subscribing. If you'd like to catch me live, I do stream on Twitch on the weekends. You can follow me on Twitch, come hang out ask me some questions and such. For more videos, check out this video over here. That was that previous mention shortcut video I made not that long ago. And then the video next to that one, that is a video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.